The landscape in Sichuan is incredible. You have lofty mountains with high peaks. The top of Mount Ome, Jingding, the golden summit, is an amazing place. Looking down all around you, you see an ocean of fog and mist rolling all around you, twirling in the wind. It's very inspiring, especially for us martial artists. My name is Martin, I'm from Canada, and I've been practicing traditional Chinese martial arts for half of my life, and I've come to Sichuan on a quest. Now I'm here to seek out Master Wang, the representative of the Ume style. He's been practicing Ume martial arts for over 40 years. Look Master Wang was happy to accept my challenge to qie cuo, to rub hands or to test skills, so to say. Wang Shifu, we are going to Qing. The first half of the challenge, we agreed to use Taiji push hands rules. I was happy to be able to apply what I knew to be able to bump them out of the circle and win that part of the challenge. It built my confidence. In the second part of the challenge, he quickly increased the speed and changed the rhythm. Very confusing footwork, and I was quickly taken out of my comfort zone. He came at me with blinding attacks, coming at me from unexpected angles that I had not seen before. This is the essence of Ume style that I came to seek out. And after the challenge, I felt... <laughs> My first impression of Master Wang is that he's a very unassuming man. He doesn't look like a martial artist at all. He just looks like an ordinary person. But if you look really closely at his micro movements, you can see that he's been practicing for a long time. I asked Master Wong what the secret was to be able to apply such swift and agile strikes and techniques, a characteristic of Ume martial arts. He responded by telling me to go down the mountain to see if I could find the answer myself. I don't know what this is. As I descended down the mountain, I began to observe the local people closer and found them to all go about their days with a certain sense of liveliness and vigor. Every day, many of them nimbly go up and down the mountains to collect wild plants for food, medicine, and other things. Zhuang uh, Yang Jiu. This one is good for the kidneys. They look as though they know how to appreciate and enjoy their lives using things from nature for all kinds of purposes. Their forthright attitudes, with an openness and willingness to help one another, left me with a profound impression. People here say that it's Sichuan's unique landscape and climate that has helped shape and give rise to the distinct characteristics of the people here. And I have to say, I agree. I went to Ume in search of Ume martial arts, which I found and were greatly impressed by. However, it were the deeper lessons within their tradition that Master Wong shared with me that gave me the deepest impression and inspired me most. He emphasized that martial arts are a way of constant self-improvement and how philosophy and practice overlap. There are so many things that can be learned from the rich traditions of Ume martial arts. I can't wait to come back again next time and continue to learn more. <laughs>